Here's today's first word, daily devotion. On the 16th day of February, let's start again in the very end in our reading so that we'll work our way backwards. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 24. What the wicked dreads will come upon him, but the desire of the righteous will be granted. And pay attention as we read to that uh, phrase desire or the thought of what a man desires or what a heart desires. And as we turn to Exodus chapter 35 and 36, we see a beautiful segment of scripture where the people are of one accord and God is using them to do an incredible work. Let's look at verse four. Moses said to all the congregation of the people of Israel, this is the thing that the Lord has commanded. Take from among you a contribution to the Lord. Whoever is of a generous heart, let him bring the Lord's contribution, gold, silver, and bronze, blue and purple, scarlet yarns, and fine twine linen, goat's hair, tan, ram skins, goat skins, acacia wood, oil for the light, spices for the anointing, and the fragrant incense, and onyx stones, and stones for setting for the ephod, and the breastpiece. Now notice this. Uh, This is a commandment, but this is a commandment for those with a generous heart. Now, who is it that sees the generosity of a heart? Of course, God is the one who sees the generosity of our hearts. But here we see the intersection of God's commandment and our hearts. And there's a beautiful exchange there. Look at verse 24. Everyone who could make a contribution of silver or bronze brought it as the Lord's contribution. Skip down to verse 29. All the men and women, the people of Israel, whose heart moved them to bring anything from the work that the Lord had commanded by Moses to be done, brought it as a free will offering to the Lord. Verse 30. Then Moses said to the people of Israel, See, the Lord has called by name Bezael, the son of Uri, son of Hur, of the tribe of, of Judah. And he has filled him with the Spirit of God, with skill, with intelligence, with knowledge, and with all craftsmanship, to devise artistic designs, to work in gold and silver and bronze, in cutting stones for setting, and in carving wood for work in every skilled craft. So here we see the Lord's call of Bezel, the son of Uri. In other words, the congregation, if I may say, uh, the congregation of Israel recognizes a particular calling on the life of Bezel, of uh, uh, Bezel, the son of Arai, son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And so God sets him aside to do a work. Look at verse chapter 36 and verse 1. Bezel and Ohalab of every craftsman in whom the Lord has put skill and intelligence to know how to do any work in the construction of the sanctuary shall work in accordance with all that the Lord has commanded. And look at what happens. The people are doing their skill. They're bringing their free will offerings every morning. All the craftsmen are doing this uh, sanctuary work. Everyone's in one heart and one accord. They're ready to obey the Lord with a willing heart. Look at verse 5. The people bring much more than enough for doing the work that the Lord has commanded us to do. So Moses gave command and word was proclaimed throughout the camp. Let no man or woman do anything more for the contribution of the sanctuary. So the people were restrained from bringing for the material they had was sufficient to do all the work and more. And when's the last time You heard a preacher (laughs) or someone at church say there's no reason to collect the offering today. We have enough. These individuals here in this particular dispensation, at this particular time, the Spirit of God was moving in such a way that the desire of the righteous was being granted. This gives us confidence as we think about, as we turn to Matthew 26, Just pay attention there. Wish I could get into the details with you. But Matthew 26, we see the length to which our Lord has gone to take our hearts and stir our affections toward Him. 
And then, of course, Psalm 43, verse 4. Then I will go to the altar of God. Look at this. To God, my exceeding joy. And I will praise you with the lyre, O God, my God. I hope that the Lord is the God of your exceeding joy. Enjoy your reading today.